Hello and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. It's a bit dark on the farm, it's approaching midnight, but you can possibly see I've actually done one or two things here off camera between episodes. Um, we've got more garden plots here. I had a whole bunch of seeds in my inventory that were just sat there doing nothing. So I've, uh, I've tried to tried to turn that into something that's going to make us some money. Uh, I've also been experimenting with paths and walls. Uh, you can see this pathetic attempt at a path here. Um, yeah, it's really, really time consuming to make these things. It's quite tedious going through the crafting. So I've kind of lost interest after doing that tiny attempt. I've put some more stuff up in the inventory, mostly uh, vanity items, but also sort of a little bit of extra fodder, that kind of thing and some other things that I won't need to have with me as I'm around and about. And so now if we look at our inventory, we've got loads of space down here. So we should be all set up for whatever comes our way. Was there anything else? Oh, I did also craft up a, another portion of french fries, just so that next time I need to um, invite someone to work on a farm, I don't need to spam them with 10 potatoes in a row. Uh, and we picked up lots of potatoes as well. Another harvest came in off camera. So we are once more very, very potato-y. And that is indeed a word. Right, so let's uh, let's get on with our quest. I think it's the... Uh, which one's selected? Is it the right one? Brewer Guildmaster. No, definitely not. That's definitely not the quest we want. The quest we want is to find the Moth Sanctuary. So let's head over in that direction. Let's see if heading there directly takes us across a, a, a traversable route. And I'm going to need to be back to gathering lots of stone because making those paths and that pathetic little wall, it used up quite a lot. I do regret it slightly now. I will not lie. I think I see a little tree spot here. And I'm seeing something else interactable there as well. What's this? Oh, watch the sun o'er hills, it creeps. At sunrise we wake, at sunset we sleep. Okay, well, sunrise is not far off. Well, I've discovered an animal, a silk fox. Oh, well, there it is, just sleeping there. How adorable. So given that it is nearly sunrise, I figure I should, uh, I should wait here and find out what these things do. They look like fabbits. And I wonder if they're going to give me uh, another one of those little sprites. Well, we'll stay in this vicinity while the sun rises, pick up some resources. Oh, nearly fell off the edge there. It can sometimes be hard to tell the difference between a fabbit and a rock or a cat. Nearly missed that. Right, this is this is sunrise. I'm sure of it. So what's going to happen at, well, 6am seems probably a good cutoff. There we go. So what's changed? What has changed? Something must have changed here. I can spin this. Okay, let's spin them to face each other. Nope, wrong way. Or maybe they both need to be facing down towards that sign. Or maybe something else entirely. Any other clue on here? At sunrise we wake up, sunset we sleep. Maybe turn turn them towards where the sunrise is. So it kind of rose sort of over there, I guess. Let's try turning this one towards the sunrise as well. Oh, other way. Okay, maybe one of them towards where the sun will rise, one of them towards where the sun will set. No, this one's stumping me. And there isn't a third one around anywhere. Hmm, might need to come back to that one. That is marginally trickier. Okay, what we've got over here. Let's, um... Now, fab it or rock? Fab it or rock? Rock. Cool. Yeah, let's keep heading towards this moth sanctuary. It's a nice little bay down here. I might take a closer look. 
bit of a beach over there. Not seeing anything I can do anything with, though. Okay, so we're quite close to the moth sanctuary. Looks like it's close to this uh, this merc patch here. Let's just quickly grab these mineables here. There's a coal, I think. Always grab the vine. Oh, that's actually a, a lurking tree patch that I nearly missed. Now it's starting to run low on tree seeds. Might need to stock up soon. Yeah, I think this merc patch is going to be blocking our way to the moth sanctuary. And we seem to have, yes, we have a Woodrow, a Sprite. Hello, Sprites here. You require silk. I'm sorry, the great silk spinning moths have all gone. Since the great accident, people have neglected this place. The circle of life is broken, but it can still be restored. Bring me flowers from the far corners of Jamir and I can make the sanctuary bloom again. You will have the silk you need. Quest complete, find the moth sanctuary. And look at that. How many flowers have we got? We only need three of each and we've got dozens. Let's hand this right in. Thank you, Sprite Seer. I will tend to the flowers now. Come back in two days and you shall see the balance of nature restored. Quest complete. Revive the Moth Sanctuary. So now we just have to wait two days. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's that's us done in Hearthwind Vale for now. Are there any areas we didn't really explore? Don't think so. Oh, did I just see a... Oh, no. I thought I saw a, a Sage Stone. There, it does feel like there should be a Sage Stone somewhere around here, doesn't it? Where might that be? Hmm. I'm going to see if I can get onto the tops of some of these plateaus. Uh, let's try going up here. I feel like if we can get a good vantage point, we can perhaps see some things of interest that are worth setting our sights on. So, from here... Can we see anything relevant? I mean, is that a sage stone over there? It's possible, I suppose. Hmm. Let's try traipsing up here. We were definitely over there before. And now another night is falling. Okay, well, let's um, let's move on for now. So what do we have in the quest log? Um, what I quite want to do is I quite want to... Let's bring the map up. I quite want to head back up to the Shivering Plains farm here because I think there's more animals to be gathered from there. And I think I want to go via Cinderton because there's some things I want to buy from there. So... I reckon the best way to get back onto the Sage Stone network is via Dapplewood Farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... If I told you, I just, just felt like I saw a... I was imagining... I thought I saw that, that trademark blue twinkle which corresponds to a sprite, but I didn't. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to craft myself up a Traveller's Knot. We have plenty of the stuff required to do that. And let's get ourselves back to Dapplewood Forest. Here we are. Uh, let's quickly quickly check on the yellow chest. Anything in there? Oh, that's storage. No, I meant the red chest. Oopsie. No, nothing in there. Never is. Okay. Um, yeah, one thing I did want to do was place, uh, I think, another fodder trough and another water trough here. Because we've got three animals here now. And I feel like the one of each that we've got at the moment isn't enough. Uh, no, not a large animal pen. That was an accident. Let's pop that back. There, okay, we've got a fodder trough and a water trough, so let's, let's place them. So let's place them... Let's, let's place them just next to this little patch here. One there. And one can go... Um, here, I think. Yeah, cool. While I'm in the vicinity, I am quickly just going to go and check to see if I am getting lucky with a gloss fox spawning down here. If so, look at that nearby. Is that a sprig pig nearby? How convenient. Uh, yeah, 
If I can get a gloss box, then I will. Otherwise, we are going to move on through the Sage Stone to Cinderton. Oh, here's Violet with another one of her jokes. What's a Gruffle's favourite food? A moose. Amazing. Okay, I have found a gloss fox, but it's quite a long way away. Um, but I'm going to do it. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> well, okay, let's grab this one instead. It's typical, isn't it? You go a long way, you find a gloss fox, and then on your way back to the farm, you find another one much more close nearby. Bit awkward. Never mind, I only need one. So let's just grab the, the nearest one. There we go, Gloss Fox is adopted. It's in this nice sturdy pen here. Let's see if we've got some loot while we've been in the area. Nope, absolutely nothing. <sighs> Don't know why I bother. Okay. Let's head on up to Numino Peak. Want to buy lots of stuff from Cinderton. And this is going to be a big shopping spree. Oh, and there's a quest we can hand in. It's the raincoat, isn't it? Is it Penny? Penny wants a raincoat? Polly. <laughs> Glow, that's so wonderful. I feel like smiling forever. And since you are so nice, I've decided I'm going to travel with you. It always weirds me out a bit when one of these people actually turns out to be uh, a sprite in disguise. It's, um, it's mildly disturbing. Okay, let's just pick up the nearby vine and then let's go through here. And I think I can I can recognise the Numino Peak Sage Stone by sight. It's quite distinctive. It's um it's this one here. And it's raining in here as well as in the overworld. It's interesting to know. The weather affects both the, the weird behind Sage Stone zone as well as normal places. Right, let's head down here, do a bit of mining as always. And yeah, there's lots of things I want to buy from the merchants in Cinderton. Lots of things. Okay, so here's one. Oh, they don't have much, but I do want all the bits and bobs. I feel like at some point it's going to be... So the, the tinkering is going to be a big old thing. But yeah, what I do want is I want lots of these stone things uh, for crafting up um, animal pens and such like. So 802, that's going to be approximately, what, 16 spuds? Indeed, and I just need to hand over two more. So, I mean, one stick would do it, but let's hand over something I've got a lot more of. Um, fodder. I put a, a whole bunch of fodder into my storage chest back at the farm because we don't need to be carrying this much fodder around. Okay, and hopefully this person has similar things I can buy. I want to buy all the stone because I seem to go through a lot of that. I want to buy all the mortar so I don't need to craft that manually. Water, vines, uh, a lot of this stuff I'm in pretty good supply in. I do think I need the meat maybe. That seems worth having tempted to buy some cheese and butter for cooking but I can hold out and then again I want to buy all of these stone things for crafting bits and bobs, cogs gears, machine parts for tinkery okay, uh, I can't pick that up because I've got 16 things there, so I need to again sell about 20 spuds accept the trade and then let's go back in so we can pick up the remaining thing we weren't able to get before and that's going to cost us five which of course is going to be five fodder nice very happy about that right next step if i just mark on the map where the shivering farm is i need to pick up some animals for there so i think i think numino peak has some animals if i just drop down here i might find one so let's have a look around and see who we see. I definitely remember seeing one spawning through here once before. But it doesn't seem to be there today. Okay, let's head down here, see if we uh, come across it. Was that a cat tucked in there? 
Nope, it was just a small coloration on the rock. Oh, I see an animal up there. That is my quarry. That is what I seek. Oh, and another animal there. Are they the same type of animal? No, they're a different animal. What have we got here? Uh, the japaka seems interested in your warm milk. I'll give the warm milk to the japaka. Yes. Follow me, japaka. And this is also a good opportunity to check if I can uh, if I can lead two animals at once. Come on, japaka, come out. Can I lead two animals? Because I also want one of these soot foxes. Fodder. Yes. Okay. Are both of them coming with? They are. <gasps> We've just increased our efficiency by 100% people. Okay, but the Japak is lagging behind. Come on. Yeah, I'm getting too far ahead of the Japaka. I need to set my pace based on what the Japaka can do, not what the Soot Fox can do. Come on again, little one. And I suspect, actually, I might find that when I get to the farm, I don't have the necessary pens to house both of these, but I do have the stuff I need to make the pens, so it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay, uh, I want to lead them via a path that they can traverse much easier. What about to here? Can you get to here? Or have I just confused you? I might have just confused them. Okay, let's try and pick them back up. Okay, there's the Japaka. You still with me? Oh, he's running away. Um, okay, do I need to craft up another warm milk? Oh, I fear I may have messed up this. Okay, give him the warm milk. And then... Oh, please don't be stuck on terrain. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's let's lead it around this way. And we don't have much coal left, so I do need to get it back on this on this run of warm milk if possible. And the soot fox, I, I worry I might have lost. Well, if I can get one of these animals in safely, then that's an achievement at least. Shivering Farm's only got a 31% rating. Why are we doing such a bad job of shivering farm? Uh, yeah, let's adopt that. Uh, looks like we don't have a fodder trough or a thingamajigger here, so that might be causing problems. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Let's craft up another animal pen for a soot fox. We're going to need that. Uh, unless I already have one in my inventory. I think I did put a large animal pen in the storage. Let's get that out. Yeah, large animal pen there. So let's craft up a small one as well. Uh, probably using constructor, so small animal pen. I just need a constructor's kit. There we go, and let's place these on the farm. And pop it in this corner here. That seems nice and out of the way. large beside it. Does that... Yeah, no, that's, that's all right. Okay. Let's try and get that soot fox back. It might have sort of given up and headed back to where it came from. In which case we're going to be grabbing another one entirely. I feel like I was I was around here when I when I lost it. Yeah, let's go get a new fox. I was hoping to find another fox in the same place as the old one, but no luck. That's another Japaka. Oh, I see a dark shadow there. Looks a bit like a, a little soot fox. 
Okay, here we go. Back to the farm, my little sprightly bouncing friend. Via a Japaka's posterior. And let's uh, grab a bit of stone while we're passing. We do have quite a nice stash of stone now, which is pleasing. Oh look, another nearby soot fox. Is it a soot fox? I think it is. Yep. Other one still following? Yep. He managed to make it over that cliff, fine. Some soot foxes are sprightlier than others. And also I see another animal down here. Okay, don't know what this needs. Okay, let, let's let's get the soot fox safely squirreled away before we start consulting other animals. But yeah, I think that might be the, the fourth animal that we want for our farm. Oh, are you running away from me? How dare you? Come back here. After all I've done for you. He needs more fodder. Come on. Okay, we are adopting the soot fox. We are at three out of four. I feel like we have um, kind of information somewhere about, yeah, that, uh, what was it called? Fluff cub. Uh, okay, doesn't tell us anything about what it likes. It might be necessary for me to do some, uh, some offline research, figure out what the key is to attracting that, because it doesn't seem to be attracted to anything I've already got in my inventory. Aha! Okay, it likes a cooked fish. Fair enough. Come with me. Well, this one runs fast. This one can keep pace with me. That's brilliant. If only all the animals could do this. Leading them back to our farm would not be such a tedious job. Yeah, let's adopt him. Okay, this farm is now at capacity but it does not have any fodder trough or water trough, which is something to remember to do later. I'm not going to be able to get it up to maximum farm care rating without those. What happens if I just quickly give them each uh, a little love? Does that help us? Well, we don't see an immediate increase in our animal care rating. Got some stuff showing up in here. Some, what is that, water and fluff? Okay, I did see an NPC standing over here. Let's see if they're still there. Hello, Carrie. Frost Fox's noses warm the air before they breathe it in. It's good to know, thank you. So, where next? Where next? Um, so, if I want to... Can I actually craft right here, right now, the necessary things that I need? Uh, like the, the fodder troughs and the water troughs and such like. I'm going to need various ingots, which is going to need lots of constructor's kits, which I can make. But, oh, constructor's kits, goodness me. Oh, I never look forward to making constructor's kits and such like. It's not a fun job, but it needs to be done. If I'm going to get my farm ratings up. Okay, let's do this. I think two of each is probably required in order to make these animals happy. Let's get us up above a 5% animal care rating. Let's do it. Now, we're going to need lots of coal in order to make these ingots. So, yeah, we're blocked off there. And likewise, we're blocked from making water troughs and fodder troughs by planks, which, again, we need to get from somewhere else. So, yeah, we can't make them in situ. We need to get back to somewhere that sells coal or somewhere that sells planks. I know places that satisfy both of those requirements, so we can do this. Uh, we're still waiting for the sanct... Oh! Oh, the two days has passed, so we can go back and get that. So maybe that's what we should do next time. Let's walk back to... Blah, blah, blah. Let's walk back to Shivering. Uh, not Shivering, um, Sunderwind. So if we make one of these... OK, 
Okay, we're at 50% here. We've got no value produced, and I think that might be because we don't have any crops growing. That's something we're going to need to work on. Okay, in the meantime, let's head down to the town here, because there's lots of great stuff I can buy. I feel like I might soon be approaching the point where I can stop smashing every boulder I see, but I don't want to take any risks. Okay, this trader here sells lots of planks, which I want. Always want glue. We have verified that we need coal. Always buy vines. Um, let's buy these sorts of things too, because these can help us with crafting. Okay, and then 577, so let's give them all these spuds and a couple more. Um, now nah, let's just give them one more potato. And I'm seeing uh, a quest on the map, an exclamation mark. Let's go down and find out what that's about. It seems to be just here. Is it going to be underground? Oops. Yeah, I'm a pa um. Who's this? Is this Maggie? Yeah, Maggie won't have anything for me right now, but that exclamation mark there is puzzling me. It's reminding me a bit of the exclamation mark that I saw in Bobbin Toff. Maybe there's... Maybe there's just some thing where towns get exclamation marks and and we don't know why. Maybe this is something that the significance of will be revealed soon. Don't know. Well, there's definitely something craftable here. Uh, a stone bridge needs more arches and pillars. Okay. Well, I think this is probably a decent place to end this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I think we're going to head back over to the Moth Sanctuary. And I do hope you'll join me then. See ya. Bye-bye.